Wired Magazine wrote that Telegram has become the anti-Facebook because it is open for communication and free. Unlike so many channels and companies, Telegram actually protects your data, doesn't sell it, doesn't market it, doesn't combine it. They, they just let you speak freely. It's become very popular in various countries, Latin America, Europe, Asia, places that you know you're being tracked, places that you know you're being monetized for every little thing, kind of like Facebook. I know the irony of sharing this on social media and describing monetization, but, but the idea that all of us know in this world we're being tracked, we're being monitored, we're being sold to, and here's someone saying, a group really, hey, we're not gonna do that to you, we're gonna allow you to communicate for free because we believe that's essential. We're going to give you freedom and trust you to do the right thing with it. Psalm 139 for us. Oh Lord, you have searched me and you know me. David says here, and for the director of music, that, that God is tracking us in a sense, that, that, that he knows us. He knows when we get up, he knows when we go down, he knows when we go about this day, and yet God, unlike tech companies, actually give you freedom. God, unlike Silicon Valley, actually gives you love and protection and care. How, how different than someone who can see literally everything, blesses and cares and provides. Like Telegram, only much, much greater. He gives us a great amount of freedom. As you read Psalm 139, it's a long psalm, it's a blessed one. You see the ways that God blesses us freely in a world that, that, that gives you freemium. Hey, here's a little bit, but you gotta pay more for the best. God gives you so much freedom right away because he loves you, because he cares for you, because unlike humans, he actually gives it away just because of you.